they told me that there was like a lot of protein in my urine. We went to the doctor's office and they said, oh, you're going to have to get a biopsy. When I found out that I was going to get a biopsy and that I had to go through chemotherapy, I was really scared. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't understand any of it. Children are not small adults, but specifically for lupus, the kids have a slightly different disease. It is more severe. For example, the kidney tends to be um, severely affected and affected more frequently in kids and adults. By the time the traditional tests of lupus nephritis are positive and you see evidence of kidney involvement, the kidneys are already damaged. We were really motivated to develop a non-invasive test for lupus nephritis. Our idea is to let kids and families of children test themselves at home as a way of monitoring their own kidney function. If you can provide early treatment before the kidney is very inflamed, you can probably get away with less burdensome treatment and you would spare the kidney over time. It took me about two to three years to be properly diagnosed. None of the doctors were really able to tell me what was wrong. One of the things I would love is if we could just have one test and it was quick and easy and then we can just know exactly what it is up front. Early diagnosis of lupus is critical for several reasons. First of all, we avoid incorrect diagnosis, which avoids incorrect therapy, and it also may prevent future complications, some of which may be catastrophic, such as myocardial infarction and stroke. We made the discovery, actually serendipitously, that the blood cells of patients with lupus in the circulation are decorated with molecules that should not be there. We learned that these biomarkers on these circulating cells can help us enormously to diagnose lupus, to monitor activity of the disease, and to predict future events. We made our first discovery of our biomarkers literally 20 years ago and it has just recently gone from the bench to the bedside and become available for physicians treating patients with lupus. It's not just the disease medications too that you have to deal with how they affect you. I have to take Plaquenil, I have been since shortly after I was diagnosed and I was terrified at the beginning to start it because I didn't want to go blind. That's what I was afraid of. I have to go to the ophthalmologist twice a year and do about an hour and a half worth of testing um, on top of all of my other appointments just to make sure that the Plaquenil isn't damaging my eyes. Plaquenil can lead to toxicity to the retina and potentially cause vision damage. Our study is to use nanoparticles to deliver antimalarials such as Plaquenil to specific cells in the immune system that causes lupus to become worse. We think the benefit of this delivery method would be to the patient is that they're able to use less um, Plaquenil over time than with current treatment regimens, thus decreasing toxicity to the eye and other sites of the body. If you think about the last 10 years, it has seen the development of very targeted therapeutics, and we need to be able to exploit that knowledge and use it to stratify patients who will benefit from specific drugs and develop new drugs using that same template, but drugs that are even better for lupus. Knowing that there's research, knowing that there are advances being made and people actually investigating what's going on with lupus gives me hope. Seeing other people supporting the cause makes me really happy because it makes me feel that I'm not alone. It's definitely important to support by donating and advocating um, so we can figure out exactly what lupus is and how we can attack it and really find a cure. Without a doubt, our greatest needs in lupus research are more dollars and more scientists. It's not a question of if we can cure lupus, it's not a question of if we can prevent lupus, it's a question of when we will cure and prevent lupus. Martin Luther King Jr. has this awesome quote and he says that if I cannot do great things, I can do small things in a great way.